these moments of depression when things go wrong, once you overcome them, you become stronger from them. And it's that moment in life later that is built upon failure, same with success. Success is never gotten on the first time usually. It's failure after failure after failure, learning from your failures from one to another to another. You know, trying, even if you get knocked down, you continue to try and continue to try. And sure, you never fail to try. It, it, it's, it's that mentality. It's the mentality, bring it on, motherfucker. I can take it. You can't break this shit. I'm stronger than you think I am. And everything you throw at me and all the hardships you throw at me, you might knock me down, but I get back up and I'll be stronger for it. It's that mentality that builds an iconic status that, that centuries from now people still talk about. The small pitfalls in life, the um, deaths in families, or a girl breaking up with you, getting fired from a job, losing your money, these are all lessons. They really are. They're just the, the presence in a way. But it's the perception of how you see that present. Do you allow it to destroy you, or do you allow it to change you? Is it a wake-up call saying, hey, you gotta get off this path onto something else? It's a state of mind, guys. It's not a state of reality. I can't say that enough. Um, if you're going through depression, you know, there is a chemical depression, you know, over time and stuff. And I'm not a psychiatrist, guys. I'm not going through that. I've never been to a psychiatrist. Um, you know, I don't know about the drugs and everything else. I think one drug just masks another drug. If you need this drug, then you need another drug. And you go down this fucking drug war, you know? If you guys seen The Wolf of Wall Street, the fucker did uppers, and he had bring downers, and he did enough coke here, and then he was just fucking drug back and forth like playing ping pong with each other for high to low to keep it, you know? Or wipe it all clean. And we take charge of ourselves. Same with supplementation, and getting ready for cover shoots. People are like, hey, do you take water retention pills? Do you take steroids? Do you take this? No, I don't take any of that shit because I cannot rely on that every single time for success. One day my body might reject it. Or maybe I'm holding too much water and the, the water pills I always use, I always tell me, aren't working. And then my reputation's on the line and I can't, can't provide. I don't like that scenario. That scenario it, it is a busted situation. I can never repeat success that way. A true successful module takes the element of risk or any kind of luck or any kind of intangible third party things. Like your girlfriend can, you're giving her too much power. Love her, but she does not create you. You must be who you are. She enhances you, but without her, you are still yourself, still strong, still capable. You can, she cannot be your Achilles heel, your crunch. She doesn't deserve that, it's too much pressure. If you really loved her, you wouldn't put that much responsibility on her. There are times in life where you lean on one and they lean on you, but it's a temporary thing, it's not a permanent thing. Same with you know getting ready for shoots or competitions you guys doing to see um, shows and stuff. You can't you can't take steroids. You can't take water retention pills. You can't take all these things to try to get ahead in the system because one day it's not going to be there for you. You can't rely everything of your confidence on your coach. I need I need to talk to my coach man. I need his motivation. Man, you're not really a champion. You better cut that trophy in half, get him half a bit because you aren't really everything. You gotta find a system of success where you are running from start to finish and everything in between. You control all the modules. If you control them all, then you can repeat them all. And when you keep repeating them all, then you start to have achievements. You're going down the path. Hard work produces an outcome. Hard work produces a higher outcome. Harder work produces a greater outcome. That's, that's success, man. And true happiness runs parallel with progress. That progress, every day you're getting better. Yeah, you fail, but you want to go further, you want to go further. Progression runs parallel with happiness. Depression, for one, one is the current tense of a word called regret. Depression is the present tense of a word called regret. And if you continue to go down that path where there is no progression, you know, there also is any happiness. No progression, it's like a water that's stagnant, it's not moving. You're not in motion, you're sitting in that wondering, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Nothing comes from a set of state. You've got to get up and go. How do you beat depression, man? If you feel lost and everything else, it's dark and there's no way out and everything else. 
it, it's, it's, it's you've lost your perspective of life. Yeah, that feel good way you can be good news. Maybe it happens for you and it kind of jump starts you. It's like the, uh, the, those pallets that put on you to die and it's you like to shock you to kind of jump start. Maybe you get lucky with that phone call. Maybe good news comes your way. But let's say that doesn't happen. You cannot do that every single time because you will be depressed over and over and over again. It's part of life. It's part of the challenge and you should welcome because it's really a, a, a tool of discovery, like I said, that you can learn so much from. If you're strong enough to face it, you learn from it. Most people hide from it and they press themselves, they piss off from me and they're just hoping for somebody to come help them. But if that person doesn't come, it gets deeper and deeper. It's a cancer that can't cure, cure itself. How do you beat That's right, man. And that's all it is. One person that changes, it's all worthwhile, man.